you want to work your glutes and I'll say it this way you want to work your glutes so number one it's not just about how you look in these jeans but it's actually your strength and your power listen the glutes do tend to get flatter than a pancake the older we get but it doesn't have to be that way and part of it is we sit so very much but we also have that anabolic resistance that makes it a little bit harder to gain muscle but I've got a new routine for you so stay tuned you're gonna see me put on a weighted vest and I will talk you through how do you activate the glutes if you struggle to feel your glutes when you work out this is for you you will see me on a trail now the trail is rocky I don't recommend doing that by yourself but what I want to show you is you can go very slowly and turn around and look behind you at the trail or the street or the grassy hill and it doesn't matter that you're going fast that's not the key what I want you to be doing is when you go up that hill you're gonna drive through your knees now you may seem like that's gonna sound like an injury waiting to happen. Well, in effect, think of it as driving through your knees and what that means is you're activating your quadriceps in, able to, in order to do it. So pushing backward with your heel digging in and straightening out those knees and reaching back activates your quads and gets them to be the working muscles. Why are we doing that if I wanted to work your glutes and that's why we opened? Well, it's because if we can get you to pre-fatigue your quadriceps, the muscles that typically will take over and assist you. So let's walk through this literally together, and then I'll talk you through it again at the end. So you wanna get yourself situated, make sure the vest is comfortable on you, and either with somebody to spot for you or look behind you. So notice I'm I'm starting out like a drunken sailor and I'm laughing a little bit about it, but obviously none of us wants to fall. So do this in a place where maybe it's a smoother ground, you're on a steep hill or you've got somebody with you, do it on the grass. You also might just want, again, that spotter with you, kind of hand behind you or behind your back and around you. But I'm driving with my feet. So I want you to be careful when you turn around. That's about as far as you need to go. You're going to walk back down, but you want to cautiously come down, come down with a little agility. Coming down, you may think, well, that's the easy part. Well, yes, gravity's on your side. However, it's the hardest on your muscles. So there's a lot of micro tearing and damage that happens to the top of those thighs. Starting again, I want you to drive backward. It may take more than three or four opportunities of walking backward for you to truly fatigue those quadriceps, depending on what else you might have done. But this is a great way to activate glutes if you utilize it. So keep pushing back. You may need to do it once or twice. Start with three or four times this walking backward prior to doing any more. Delayed onset muscle soreness takes effect anytime from 24 to 48 hours, sometimes some more after the workout. So as you walk back down again, try to stay light on your feet. When we take people to major hikes, like in Boulder, Colorado, or the Grand Canyon, I have them working on agility training for months in advance, so they come down light on their feet, not heavy. That spares the muscles from getting sore. So again, driving back up, take a look at the knees on the left side and how precisely I'm really pushing back and you want to see that full extension through the knees now if it were even a steeper hill than this you would see it to a greater extent and again you want to be sure you've got an area where my my path is curved I've got rocky um, pieces in this trail this is not ideal to do by yourself however this is minutes from my house I walk up the street here I am boom 
So once you're doing this again, you want to drive through the knees, take a look at this close up of really reaching precisely, pushing backward. You want to think about pushing the earth away and think about the tops of your legs. Push through your knees. Now you're not going to trash your knees by doing that, but you are going to use your quadriceps when you're thinking that way because those are the muscles that act on the knee. Coming down, again, nice and easy, probably going to take you almost twice as long as going up if you were going fast, but in this case, we're not. It's not like interval training. So again, this is the last time coming up as I'm going to demonstrate here. Now you might do five or six times or might need it, but again, first time you come out and do this, just take it easy, do three or four, and then work on that climbing up. I've got a weighted vest on because I'm used to wearing a weighted vest. If you're not, I would do this and recommend this first with nothing. Now the added weight is both front and back. It's supported. It's just like if you gained weight, please don't do that. <laughs> don't do that for this experience. But here now you're going to finish with the walk up the hill, squeezing your buns together like you're squeezing a hundred dollar bill between your cheeks. You're then really driving. It's going to cause you to take smaller steps than you might otherwise do. And that's okay. We're activating the glutes. Again, the steeper your hill here, you could potentially do this part on a Stairmaster if you wanted to. You could do this on a very steep treadmill on the incline. But again, I don't love the backward walking if you're by yourself, particularly on a treadmill. And part of it is about pace. So if you're comfortable on a treadmill, you're very familiar, you have great agility, you may be able to do that just fine, but I'm just going to you, caution you about it. So continuing to walk down, you still want to be careful because those quads may be a little bit tired. We tried to pre-fatigue them so that they can't play and the glutes will play. I will have clients do this sometimes once a week. We do this hill training, but it's not sprint interval training. It's a different kind of training and it is driving backward through the feet and through the knees to pre-fatigue the quads. We do three to four sets of walking backward and at least 20 to 40 steps, somewhere in there. And then you're gonna turn around and you're gonna walk forward up that hill driving, but I want you to imagine you're squeezing a hundred dollar bill between your cheeks. You know what I mean. Try this first with no weighted vest, but then after, you've done this a few times, you may find you're strong enough, your glutes are more activated, you may not be feeling it with the same load, your own body weight. Try using a weighted vest. Now I have one that is about 20 pounds. It's a little heavy for a woman of my size. You wanna look at your body weight and you wanna start with 10%, gradually increase, but between 10 and 15% is really safe for most of us. Otherwise, you're going to be having to overcome the overfiring of your upper back and neck, and you've got to factor that in. If you're just getting started, if you have a removable weight, a vest that you can add weight or remove it, even better. So start light, start with a few minutes around your house, not just jumping into doing a walk or something intense like this. Let me know if you feel it in the glutes after you've done this.